Ladies Days Off by Connect TV, and I'm here at Saviour's Crystal in Ballybeg in Waterford with amateur fighter Sean Purcell. Well, hello. <laughs> yeah, man, all right. How are you feeling? You just finished training. Just training, yeah. It's just, I'm all right. It's getting back into the swing of things, I suppose. I think we just got word that I could have championships in a couple of weeks, so we're just taking over for what's, what's to come next. How does that make you feel? Because, I mean, how, how long was it that you were out of training or the club was closed? I haven't fought since last November, I think, was it? Last, last November. I haven't fought, so I've just been taking, tipping over all, all year, but other than that, like, there's been nothing, sure, with the lockdown and the whole lot, there's been nothing going on, so I think we just got word there last week that there's supposed to be a whole load of championships coming up in the next couple of weeks, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. How does that make you feel, knowing that obviously you haven't fought since November, we had the lockdown, so you weren't able to do your regular training, and now straight in we could have just championships coming up like is that something where you sort of fight or flight you just have to meet the challenge or how are you preparing yeah i just look i'm doing it going on 14 years now so i just it is what it is uh of course it's not it's, it's it wouldn't it's not a great situation to be in but i'd rather have a good camp got in beforehand but it, look, we'll, we'll work with, with what we have Um i'm elite now and i should be i'm there thereabouts on an elite title um so look it is what it is the more fights i can get the better so 14 years, how old were you when you started? Eight, 21 now. No way. Yeah. So when you started, what is, was it a case of you saying, I want to go box, or did someone bring you up? Uh, I, I kind of ran in the family. My father boxed, and my uncles and grandfathers, and it was kind of always there, like, so I said I'd give it a shot, and I kind of had it in me then, and uh, it wasn't too bad at my hands, so I kind of <laughs> said that. So. Can you remember your first fight? Uh, I think I can, yeah. I think it was in Paul's town. I think I had a bad vest and a pair of hurling shorts. And <laughs> I remember my father told me uh, to throw a jab, step back, one, two again, and it worked every time. I think, I think, it, was, I think it was about 27 kilos. <laughs> so have you kept that, kept that like little yeah, combo it in? It works, yeah, the jab, step back, one, two, yeah, it works, yeah. So. So, I mean, like we, we see it time and time again, or I certainly do anyway with, you know, with kids that are in boxing gyms, you know, they either have their first fight and they're like, I never want to do that again, and they and they never box again. And then some, like yourself, just take to it. You know, can you remember a time where you remember saying to yourself, this is something that I want to do and I want to take it quite seriously? Uh, I can't really remember, no. But is it just a natural progression? Does it just kind of happen the more you train and the more fights you have? Yeah, I think so, yeah. It's like, at the start, when I was young, lad, like uh, it was tough and I didn't like sparring and uh, I don't know I just get, if, if I could get the night off training now I would. it was tough to stay at but as you go on and as you start winning and building your confidence and realizing then that you do you can do this and you are good like and so it's just building building your mindset I suppose yeah a lot, a lot of it is in your mentality like I know you you need to uh, it's a physical sport and you know, but a lot of it is in your head maybe like if you don't have it in your head you're just I don't know it's, it is very Mental. It's a very mental sport, as well as physical. So, so when you when you say like that's a really good um, point that you're making in terms of it being a massive uh, mental side of the sport, but at 21, like I mean, most guys and girls your age are out in pubs, they're on the sesh, they're like, you know, doing whatever. So you guys are training, like, just because you're amateur doesn't mean that you're tra not training as hard as a professional athlete. Yeah. So what is it for you? How do you stay focused and away from the sesh, I suppose, and, and keep focused to your goals? Oh, I don't know. It's just, it's just got to be done, I suppose. Like, even in training, and you don't want to train, and we're just, we're kind of, me and my father have been together from the start, and it was always, like, we've, we've been in a few clubs, and it's just... I don't know, it's just, uh, again, it's mental again, it's just, you kind of say, you have to do this, and if you don't, you're not going to be at the level, because we've realised over the years, like, we used to train maybe of a win or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, mm -hmm. and we were starting to realise, like, that we weren't at the races, like, and yeah. so then we were training five days a week, and six days a week, and then we started training twice a day, mm -hmm. and we're only barely meeting the, the limit, like, so it's just... I suppose it's just uh, uh, spilled in your head again, and uh, if you're not going to do it, you're not going to be at the races. And since since I'm a young fella, like since I remember, I think I was about 16, and uh, I was fighting in the cadets. I think I was to go to the world championships, and if all my mates and I was all going to their debs and out drinking and all this carry on. And I was I was going to the club in the middle of the summer training. That was that was as tough as it gets now. But uh, I won the cadets that year, and I went out to the world championships, and I think I was ranked number five in the world that year. Yeah. So. Look. In terms of your in terms of your achievements that you know and all your accolades, what are the, what are some of the ones for yourself that that you're most proud of? 
I think the best buzz of the whole lot that I got, I've been out of worlds and Europeans and I'm fighting abroad my whole life on Irish teams, you know, but the best of the whole lot was, um, there's two actually. The last one was Eindhoven. That was the best buzz that I've gotten in a long, long time. I was, I was with the lads at the time. Um, one goal, I beat, the, I beat the, the, the Belgian team brought over the Olympic team. There's a lot of Olympic teams over there actually. And I beat your man. I don't know what, what I can't even tell you what his name was, but he's been at a serious lot of stuff. And I beat him, and that was one of the best puzzles that we've got. And before that, I think it was the seniors. I won the seniors. I think I was 19 winning the seniors. That was another very, very good buzz. But it's just, as I said to me, Dad, like it's a, t- it's a tough sport. And if anyone's looking to get into it, you know, it's, t- it's a tough sport, but it's just you need the rewards. Mm-hmm. It's all about the rewards. So. And future rewards, what are some of the goals that you've set out for yourself? Elite title, should have had one last year. All day long, should have had one last year. Um, so it's there, it's there for me this year. If it, uh, an elite title then, and whatever else after that. Just as long as I get that elite, it should op- it should opened up a lot of doors. Uh, I don't, I haven't got the rewards that I reser- that I deserved over the last few years. So it's, I'm there, I'm knocking on the door. Like. So, do we look down the line? Is do we even think about being professional at this stage? Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to be professional. I'd love to be professional, but I'm hearing nothing only bad news about it. <laughs> so I, d- I don't know. I, just ne- I need to get talking to the right people. I, I've been approached plenty of times before by lads, and I didn't know who they were or what the story was, and they're telling you all this good news. And mm-hmm. I don't know. If I could just get talking to the right people, and I don't know. We'll see. It's, it's I think, though, bo- like amateur boxing, you can have a very good career within amateur boxing and you can have goals and you can achieve loads. Yeah. They're two very different sports, I find, you know? Yeah, look, to be honest, I, I, don't, know, I don't know enough about the pro. But, uh, look, it is the goal. It is, I'd love to go pro and see, but as I said, it's just I need to get talking to someone or I need to, <laughs> n- need, need, to sco- need to school myself up on. Exactly, we won't worry about it right now. Um, but thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Um, and look forward to hear how, how you do in the, in the championships and the elites next year. Well done. Anything else, any final shout outs or anything before I let you go? Uh, shout out to my new coach, Paul Simpson at St. Saviour's. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. <laughs>